then so should play and okay so we are done with the episode one okay so let's play the episode two starve for help let's start it I know who you are. I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. All right, you, so the, you keep an eye on that front door. To, You're our lookout. Um, it's Doug, you got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with past. Doug. Right. You got it, boss. Just looking at it. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Alright then, so... The story is telling about how you play, yeah. Mm. So we're giving ch some choices on it. Okay. So did you remember that uh, um, the up last uploaded video was the... Um, um, a new day, that's the episode one. So that's three months later. Alright. Okay. Damn! What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. So I still can't believe here. we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me. That's a three no months regrets. later. That's yeah, a rabbit's hardly a meal, mm -hmm. part, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. That's too much, right? When I accidentally three grabbed months. for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's gotta miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. <laughs> Larry's just looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. <laughs> I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. And, uh, I know, you know what? Um, I just like this because it's very, you know. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. All right then. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. <laughs> you missed though. I don't know who is. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Who raided your camp? I, I don't know, guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Lee, this is fucked up. We gotta help. Him. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Now or never leave. Please! Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. He's lost so much blood already. Please hurry up. Please, Please do something. Get me out of this. How would somebody do this? You have to get him out. You have to. How the fuck do you get Break these things chain. open? We don't know. <laughs> It's impossible. It locks or something. Hurry! Let's hurry! Go, let's go! Oh, man. Uh, Maybe we can smash it. Do you think oh, you can get it open? Oh god, hurry! Is he? Lee, is he? Uh, 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 please hurry! No, 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 no. Come on! Damn it, Lee! Just cut off his fucking leg! You don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we had to! Oh, oh Jesus, those god things are gonna be here soon. There's gotta be another way. There has to be a way out Lee, of this! I can't keep him back forever! Really bad. Just get me oh, out, god, please! Oh god. With blood and screaming, we're gonna be surrounded any minute! I want Fuck, I'm just legs. wasting ammo my now! Legs. We gotta go! Please! Oh god, just so many like them. this! Oh god. I have to get you out! No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything, please!
gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh my god! Hell what what's going on? Don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? Hey, you wanna calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea! We're the ones that shot him. Then you should have done the right thing and finished him off! What the hell is wrong with you? Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know... You like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. <laughs> what the? You only have four food items. For ten hungry people. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> it's going to be nuts. Okay, so yeah, we should. We should try it too, right? Mm, okay. Alright then, who's going, who we're going to give this thing? Okay, let's try this one. So who should I choose? Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. What were you thinking bringing him here? Even if he lives, we aren't going to be able to take care of him. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Alright, so we're going to... Uh, already done talking to... Push this again. <laughs> Just forgot it. Okay, so uh, okay. Let's try to talk this one. 
How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Claire. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe we just left Mr. Parker there. I tried. I really did. I just ran out of time. There was nothing else we could do. So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The guy in the truck is Travis. He played in the school band with me. Mr. Parker was the band director, but... God, I can't believe we left him. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah. Probably. Okay, so... Uh -huh. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. Okay. Well, I sure hope I'm so. I'm trying to pick the people that I should give in food. I don't know then if this really works. And I don't know guys. Um That thing doesn't work uh, anymore, uh, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I um I need it. It's okay. Uh. You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then. Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. <laughs> but it makes me feel better. Okay. Uh, you take good care of it then. I will. <laughs> so let's check. How are you doing, this one. Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I think he'll be fine. Oh, that's good. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. Okay, so... Um, we tried to um, check who's, who will... Uh, Let's try. Um, now we all know that Clementine needed food, right? So let's try duck. Okay. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. How you doing, duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? <laughs> nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. <laughs> okay, so bye, Lee. Duck is not yet hungry. Okay, let's check Lily. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know, people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Okay. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. Keep an eye out. Fine. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. <laughs> Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. 
I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, <laughs> if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. I know that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Back in a bit. Okay, so I think she's hungry. Okay, let's try to talk to Kenny. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. Oh. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Oh. Oh. Coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Okay. So what now? Um, we should. Okay, so. Let's try to talk to this too. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. <laughs> hey, will the kid make it? I don't know. You know it was an accident, right? I didn't mean to shoot him. <sighs> it was crazy back there. Kid acted stupid. Okay. Mm -hmm. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Mm -hmm. Well, what did she want us to do? Just leave a couple of teenagers to the walkers? That's exactly what you should have done. <laughs> Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? <laughs> Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Okay. So we now identify at least three. What? Carly. Okay. Larry and Clementine. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Stop. We'd be fine without you. <sighs> Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Here, Larry. I hope you don't think this makes us friends. I could have gave you nothing. <sighs> oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Um, Alright then. Fuck. Uh, okay, let's try and give it to Clem Clementine. This. Mm. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. A 
Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we need to get some food? Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. Yeah. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. So what? Yeah. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Keep the last wish for a good person. Keep the last wish of food for yourself. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones who need it. I don't want anything from you. Take it anywhere. You need to eat. Okay, so this doesn't change anything. Well, <laughs> okay, after I give you a food. Yeah, that's it. Not such an easy job, is it? I'm sorry, good guys. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee, Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. I'm sorry, but Ken, Lee, come here, please. We should find the food. He didn't make it, did he? No matter what. He lost too much blood. God damn it! I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing. Let him go, Katja. But he just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man brought. I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Oh fuck! Hey! The axe! Hurry! What the? What should I do? What should I do then? This will get the way. All right. Oh. said he wasn't bitten what we asked you point blank was he bitten and you said no he wasn't well your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife no. what wait you all don't know what the hell are you talking about it's not the bite that does it 
You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Alright. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax! Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. You're outnumbered here. Just turn around and go back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but, but you'd really be helping out a fellow survivor if, if you could park with some extra gas before we leave. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit? I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. Oh, we know. See how it goes from there. All right, Sounds then. fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Okay, so we're going so to dairy the dairy farm. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? The motor end's my home now, I guess. Hmm. That place seen better days, huh? You can say that again. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Well, the kid here is our newest arrival. But we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I maybe said, maybe that's the right thing to do to frankly, avoid those questions because summers, maybe we don't know what they're, go, what they're going farm. to do to us. Yeah, that's great. Right? Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. All right. Gary, you're always oh, pulling this shit. And it's... Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fuck you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it up. There's only two of them. Oh, no. There's yeah, and you know what? More. We ate it all. 
What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole! <laughs> the world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. All right, then. Okay, so, uh, oh, so here they are. Here it is, St. John Family Day. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out. You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting, hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. We've been living down at the old motel, round the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. They fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle okay. will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Okay, so they're going back in. Fetch Mark, the others. Please, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. We can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but... Maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, okay. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. All right, then. I will look for a defense. Okay, then. So this is a very good house. Right. So... This is cool, yeah? Okay. Right then. Yeah. 
let's see if right so we are still recording then Sorry, I just take a break for a while. Okay, let's try and look. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. <laughs> let's talk to Mike first. So, what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. All right then. Wait. Wonder how much food they've got in there. Hopefully, we'll find out. Try to look for a while. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck, and let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. So I should fix this. Okay, so no more. Okay, it looks like it will be broken anytime. Okay. Go into the gates. Should we enter? Okay. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after damn. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Okay, so I think they uh, are kind people, huh? Okay, so I did not talk to him. So we should go out first, and let's talk to him. It's right here. Oh, look at the board. 
This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Okay, so... Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Where did he put the saw and the the board <laughs> on his pocket? <laughs> Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Generator. You guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks. Uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on. Looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. Fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. So we need to go. Okay, so. Oh. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? Yeah, it's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy. Let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. <laughs> it wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry. We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. Okay, so there's, there's a walk for Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Who do you think he was? Maybe a farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. Looks like he's stuck. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know who got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Looks 
like he's stuck. there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Uh-oh. Man, the fence burnt right into its hands. I think they fuse together. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? I don't know. They've got as much food as they say. I, I think so. <sighs> Maybe they want to eat. Come on. You I think I see where they're getting in. This one humans, must have knocked right? it over trying to get through. Oh, He's no. tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh fuck! What the? Get to the gate. Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had a agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out! Now there you are, boy! Damn! I can't see it. Push this one, right? Did you really think you can fuck with us? I can do this all day. Oh, why can I?
get closer. Okay, so how could okay? Yes. Okay. Okay. Then let's remove this one. Okay. We can reach the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Yeah, we're. This is our cover. Okay, just stay behind it and just be careful. What the hell? Hey. Oh no. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have to move it. We had the green bees. Now you're fucked. Okay. I got money in. Okay. Where do you think you're going? Maybe they are for another one. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Okay, so we remove this one and and fuck. Did you really think you fuck with us? Okay, just kick his. Alright. You okay? Yeah. Bear. Come on. The gate's right there. Let's get out of here. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead. So, <coughs> who are these people? So, there were arrows. Keep on. Lee, what's wrong? There's a goddamn ambush out there! Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all! Mark! Oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just... Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind man. of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. Mm -hmm. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for <clears throat> protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were going to give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're going to let those sons of bitches get away with this. Do you know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Okay, so they stayed. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing? I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Okay, so what now?
They're storing gasoline all over the property. No mail coming in or out these days. At least they don't have to worry about bill collectors anymore. Doesn't look very safe, but I guess that's the point. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Okay, so I'm I guess on. Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Okay, so the two are there. And I should I should, uh, I should, I should go here first, right? Of hay. Mm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover from arrows if that becomes a problem. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? feel about leaving the motor in. It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. I don't want to talk to you. Should go now. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. How you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. A little bit a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. 
Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah. I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Hmm. I'll be back, Clem. Don't worry. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. You found it? Mm -hmm. Sneak up to the camp. Thank you.